Huh. This looks like an okay spot. Let's see. Yeah, right here will do. You can see the trees are kind of cleared out. A lot of snow around. I think this is a good place to start. Hello, and welcome back to another episode of MAV, where we do everything outdoors. My name is Maverick, and today I'm going to be building a Kinsey. Kinsey, Quincy, not really sure how to say it. Igloo, for those of you that don't know what the heck I'm talking about. Um, I guess you can't really call it an igloo. Igloos are made out of like blocks of, blocks of snow. This is going to be a big pile of snow. Inspired by some fellow YouTubers, including Steve Wallace, I'm going to sleep out of a snow fort. It's been a dream of mine since I've been a, a knee high, but I haven't really had too much of a reason to do it. But today we are out on Hannah's mom's boyfriend's house. Um, he was the guy that was so generous to let me use his hot tent for the day and smoke those white fish. In the next couple days, it's supposed to get down to about six degrees Fahrenheit, which is about negative 20 Celsius. Um, you need some cold weather. So that'll allow the snow to settle and uh, freeze in order to be hollowed out to sleep in. Um, it's about two in the afternoon right now. I'm gonna pile up a bunch of snow until I get tired. And hopefully it's enough to make a snow shelter for one of the upcoming nights. All right, so I'm about 20, 30 minutes in. Yeah, that's, that's not a giant pile of snow. Um, one thing I forgot to mention that I remembered while I was uh, while I was shoveling there is that you want to mix up the snow. It's super easy to get lazy and not, you know, chisel away at the snow. But there's giant chunks like you see this that'll never sit right inside the pile. And when I go to carve it out, it's just gonna put me more at risk for a collapse. So the way that we we counter that is by mixing up the different layers of snow. Um, there's different temperatures because snow actually insulates itself. Fun fact. So if you guys are going to do something like this, it is important that you let it sit out a day in at least 23 degrees Fahrenheit. That's, uh, if it's, uh, if it's not that, you put yourself at risk for the snow collapsing on top of you and not freezing fully. And we don't want that. I don't want you guys to get injured. So judging by my half hour of work here, I have a night cut out for me. Although I'm tired now, and I should have definitely brought some water, I'm gonna have to keep on trucking, as I say. I guess I get to eat my own words today. So let's get after it. All right, and before the sun goes down anymore, we got about half hour left of daylight here. I wanted to show you the progress I've made. It's about as tall as I am right now. It's about six, six foot. A little over six foot tall. Um, wow. That's the kind of stuff I'm worried about. Um, I'm really trying to, I'm really trying to minimize that kind of thing. I've been kind of smacking the top of the snow pile with the shovel. Hopefully, that's good enough. Um, it does make me want to let this sit for more than one day, so I might go ahead and do that. But I'm gonna come and check on it tomorrow anyway. Before I do that, I've got about 30 minutes left of shoveling, so we're gonna see how much bigger we can get this thing, but <sighs> I need a nice tall glass of water. Mmm! That's nice, yeah. Okay. Well, I know I said that last time. I thought it was gonna take about 30 minutes for the sun to go down. It's been an hour and a half extra now, and uh, we still have a little bit of light left, but I'm gonna go inside. Uh, on this side, the snow's probably piled up to about seven, seven and a half feet, and then on the other side, it's piled up to about six. I realized midway through that I'm on a hill, so it's gonna make it interesting to dig out tomorrow. Um, I'm gonna have to make a flat sleeping sleeping place so 
I'm pretty tired. I don't think I could pile much more snow. I packed it as well as I could, so I guess we'll have to wait a day and we're gonna keep our fingers crossed and hope that our snow settles right. The objective of this was to make a igloo that could sleep two people. Bigger igloo, bigger problems though. We'll see. I'm gonna take my Elmer Fudd hat and I'll see you guys tomorrow. What's that? Where do we want our door? Um, I was thinking on this. All right, so we're back at the snow mound, the Kinsey wannabe. Um, it's been definitely a couple more it's been a couple more days in a day. Um, it's been about a week and a half to be exact. I've been putting this thing off. Hannah and I are gonna dig this thing out. Um, her sister might join us in a little bit, but yeah. What we're gonna do is we're gonna start the door and then what we're gonna do is we're actually gonna start digging towards the top and dig our way down rather than digging down and risking all the snow falling on top of us. So, <sighs> start digging. Been hard at work we can both fit in here what you're supposed oh to do when you're when you're building these things is you're supposed to be able to see the light coming through the top so like we have this part right here like you can see light coming out when there's sunlight out so we obviously don't have sun right now so we can't do that um so we're gonna come back in the morning and finish this thing off um hannah's been just digging out the floors um well it's been dark out so we haven't been like digging up yeah, making it much bigger and making it dangerous for a collapse. So it is kind of dangerous for us both to be in here right now. So we're going to get out and get home. We're going to head back to the house. We'll see you back here in the morning. And uh, we're going to finish this thing up and spend the night of working on the ice shelter. All right, guys, it's day two of working on the ice shelter, at least digging it out. we got to get the thing all prepped to sleep in. Um, tonight, what we have to keep us warm, we have a couple of candles, like tea candles, and a propane lantern, um, and a mountain of snow. It's going to be the coldest night in the Midwest tonight. Um, we've been working on this thing, and when I say working, I mean like, I piled snow a week ago. Um, we've been working on it for a week, working on. Um, but tonight, it so happens that it's going to be the coldest night in the Midwest in a very long time, which is going to be, well right now it's negative 10. I'm not really sure how cold it's going to get tonight. Could be... I think what it was like negative 15, right? Negative 5. Oh, it's negative 5? Negative 6. Oh, really? That's nothing. Yeah. All right, so I might have just lied to you guys. It's only supposed to get down to negative 6 degrees Fahrenheit, which means like do negative. Put it on the screen. Yeah, I'll do the math and put it right here, but it's like 20 something Celsius. Um, negative 20 something Celsius. Anyway, it's getting dark out. Um, I still need to go cut down some pieces of spruce so we can put it underneath our sleeping pads to hopefully help us not get as wet tonight but yeah we're gonna go do that quick get get the kinsey all set up and then we'll uh we'll show you we'll show you our home for the night oh and by the way the reason that we're doing this is tomorrow is valentine's day we're having a little little romantic getaway yeah they're gonna think you planned this and it was super romantic but i'm the one <laughs> it's no, like they're gonna... we should have a valentine's day in the, <laughs> in the kinsey <laughs> all right so i have to give credit where it's due Hannah's mom gave me the idea of staying in a Kinsey, and uh, I was honestly gonna come out here and stay by myself, but then after piling up all that snow, I was like, wow, 
I it would really be that out alone. <laughs> yeah, it would be way more fun with somebody else. And Hannah, it's it's Valentine's Day. We're 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 celebrating Valentine's Day in an igloo. And uh, I also made you do like way more of the digging than me. So thank you. I also suggested Valentine's Day. Mm -hmm. Yeah, she su <laughs> she she suggested Valentine's she suggested. Day. She suggested Valentine's Day because it was a cute romantic thing. I'm not very. What did you have planned? <laughs> All right, we're gonna go cut down some spruce. <laughs> I am not gonna be able to do this one-handed. We're just gonna act like I'm doing this right now. All right, so we got all the spruce. Um, I'm handing it to Hannah. Well, I guess I just set it outside the door, but she's grabbing it and putting it inside. We didn't set anything inside earlier to heat up the inside. Um, that's one of the main things that you have to do when building a Kinsey. So you have to put something in there or just be in there for a while and let the snow kind of melt on the inside and then um, form like an ice crust. Um, and that'll keep your shelter super stable. So she's getting those candles going right now. It is really cold outside, so we're not too worried about not doing that earlier. But yeah, what the spruce is doing is it's just going to give us like an extra layer between the snow and our sleeping pads. Um, we do have self-inflating sleeping pads, so we got to be careful of sticks not stabbing through them. But um, yeah, should be should be great. I'm excited. All right, Hannah's been working in there for like 30 minutes, and she just gave us the okay to go inside. So let's go see. Uh, Let's go see the inside of the Kinsey and show you guys what we're working with. Hello? Hello? <laughs> oh my gosh. What? <laughs> you got me chocolates? Happy Valentine's Day. Oh. This is awesome. So this is our humble abode for the night. Yeah. We got candles, we got wine, we got whiskey, chocolates and chess. And Mav. Hi, welcome to an episode of Cute Cooking with Mav. Today we're in a Valentine's Day shack making snow soup. The way mine works is you like release a little bit, let it flame before you put gas. You feeling alright? Yeah. I'm miraculously like just fall over. Call the cops. A lot of water there. We're gonna definitely have to <laughs> use some, some of our more. drinking water. Um Yeah. <laughs> There's nothing in there. It's just—it's like a couple drops dissolving into. No well, that's because it's all powder snow too. Yeah, it's, it's all air. Well, my camera's having some super condensation issues right now, so we're gonna switch over to the iPhone, so sorry if you notice a difference in quality or audio. Yeah, if the quality goes up. <laughs> yeah, if the quality goes up, I'm I apologize, sorry. I'm using my iPhone. Yeah, we're going. <laughs> Romance is not dead. All right, folks. There we go. We've got some spaghetti. We've got some Caesar salad that doesn't have Caesar dressing. It has ranch in it and tomatoes, so it's like a Caesar hybrid. 
wine and uh, some good old fashioned bourbon. Don't have gloves on right now. Oh, yeah. My hands are freezing. I'm going to sit used to it. It sounds really good, though. It's good. So, while we're cooking up, the condensation in here was unreal. I don't know if we caught it on camera, but like it was like somebody was smoking in here. It really was a fog machine. It was crazy. Um, everything that we have is frozen. I brought like some Italian sausage to throw in with my pasta, but it's completely frozen solid. Doesn't sound good at all. We're gonna finish up dinner here. We're not gonna do the dishes out here because it's so dang cold. We only used one pot, so we're just gonna let that sit outside. Hopefully, it doesn't that's why we don't have animals. cups or anything. Because yeah. we were like, we don't want to do dishes. <laughs> we don't want to deal with anything, you know. Yeah. And we only brought one jug of water. We were kind of planning on being able to boil down the snow, and uh, we don't want to have to keep going in and out to get more snow. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's kind of more of a pain in the butt to crawl through a little a little hole and go get snow. And plus, it's cold. So mm. we're gonna finish up dinner. Um, get the shack all ready for bed, and I guess hit the hay. The shack. <laughs> the shack, the Kinsey. We're going to get this little shack all ready for bed. It is a shack, isn't it? It's a snow shack. Are you all right? Are you doing okay? <laughs> You're pretty cold. I just need to get, on, like, in covers and stuff, you know? Mm -hmm. Like, it's my feet and my hands. Like, everything else is nice and toasty. You, you should not go outside then. Oh, I don't care. Like, you freeze, dude. Mm -hmm. Like you're wet now. Well, you, I mean, you can throw stuff at me. Yeah, I'll do that. And I'll get it set up. <laughs> Science. Oh, come on. Finish that, like, two bites of spaghetti. Seriously? What, it's man? It's just going to attract animals. I love animals. <laughs> With the biggest mouth. You can literally get that done in two bites. <laughs> oh. There we go. Good job. There's two bites too many. Alright. Well, got all the dinner cleared out of here. <laughs> I'm gonna grab our sleeping pads, our sleeping bags, and we're gonna get ready for bed. This one's cold. My toes are chilly, but I already knew that was a problem from our truck camping. Yeah. So I have a blanket for under my in my at the bottom of my sleeping bag. We don't have much to get you dry right now. This is our this is our only source of heat really right now. All the candles went out, so yeah. I'm gonna get you your sleeping bag and hopefully you dry out. I'll yeah. go get it for you. measured the Kenzie to be as tall as I am um, to sleep comfortably, not the sleeping pads, and the sleeping pads are a little bit longer, no, so. they're actually, like, perfect. Oh. We just, it's small to blow them up. Yeah. With a heater <laughs> by. us and them in here. And the heater, or the, the little yeah, propane and thing. And all random yeah. little stuff. Alright, so we're gonna get in our sleeping bags now, and I guess just bundle up and go to bed. Oh, that's what I needed. While you're out there, can you grab my blanket? Yeah. The bottom of yeah, I'll get that. We were gonna like hang out and play chess and like do fun stuff, but I think we're just gonna share some chocolates real quick and yeah. go to bed. It got way colder than than it was when we were heating pasta. <laughs> yeah, I think the pasta actually might have made us cold because of the condensation in here, but we'll never know because we don't know what it was like without the pasta. So, um. <laughs> <laughs> never knew what life was like without pasta. <laughs> no. All right. Well, it's probably only about eight o'clock. Um, I did just look at my phone, so I got to see how cold it was out. I'm gonna whip that back out, actually. There's the verdict. What is it? Negative 17. Negative 17, this is in Celsius. Um, it's gonna get down to negative 21 tonight. Celsius. Celsius. Negative 21 Celsius. Because we're gonna okay. shut the lights off. Yeah, get in your, get in your bag. We're gonna <laughs> shut the lights off, and then we're just gonna go to bed. I don't think I'm gonna be very warm <laughs> Really? You want chocolate?
Mmm. Yum. You want it? Mm. This one's good too. No! <laughs> <laughs> oh, does it really? I think it does. Bro, it's gonna, gonna go be inside. so difficult though. Oh my god, but it's so worth it if we could. Like, we've. Is your, yeah. so your sleeping bag is inside out right now, buddy. Oh. <laughs> You're like, the zipper goes on the right. It's literally a left zippered bag. <laughs> you got the you got the outside all supposed to now. <laughs> Weird, my mom just like really easily. That's like the point of it being like that and not having an end zip. So it should be there. There we go. Woohoo! Yes! Uh oh. No, it's a left zippered. No <laughs> Flip it inside out. I'm gonna. Yeah! Mm. Alright, we successfully got our sleeping bag zipped together. Bye! Zip See ya! Oh my land up! It's chilly! Mm -hmm. mm. I slept pretty good last night. Besides the fact that I don't think I blew my mattress up enough last night and I kept having to flip over because my back would hurt. Um, not as warm as I would have thought it would have been with two sleeping bags up together and mm -hmm. this one. I can't even see her. It's, there's very limited space in here and I'm not trying to move the camera down by our feet right now because it's going to let it all the hot air. So, Uh, I wouldn't want to be sleeping for much longer than we were because my feet are actually starting to get cold now too, so. Uh, we're going to get our stuff packed up. Once we get enough courage to get out of these sleeping bags, we're going to get our stuff packed up and get on the outside. Well, our propane lantern did last all night, but we had it in the doorway and it melted a giant crater. Um, I'm going to guess that... Didn't really give us much heat in here. <laughs> Just melted a giant hole. Whatever. Have chocolate for breakfast. I'm good. I'm gonna. All right, so we just got all packed up. It is so cold out here right now. There's no way that it's only negative five degrees out right now. It's gotta be 15. I mean, listen to the snow. But it is gorgeous out. Just hard coming from a little igloo where there's a bunch of condensation floating around and coming out wet because my feet are cold, my hands are cold, and my boogers are frozen in my nose. So we got about a quarter mile walk, and we'll be back in the truck. <laughs> All right, well that'll about do it. We're safe and sound back at the truck. The truck started up and we didn't freeze last night. So thank you guys so much for tuning in on this adventure. If you guys like this video, please leave me a comment down below. Let me know what you want to see. Um, if I get 5,000 likes on this video, I'll come out here and do a solo night in the igloo by myself. Um, maybe do some fishing beforehand, but thanks again for tuning this episode of Mav. Until next time, my name is Maverick, and you're under the drill. Just keep on trucking.